All right, so today we're gonna be talking about the 2019 Silverado and Sierra 1500s that came out last year. And we're also gonna talk about the 2020 Silverado and Sierra HDs that they're coming out with this year. I am super excited, so let's dive right in. All right, so we're gonna start with this 2019 Chevy Silverado 1500. And uh, overall, I'm a big fan. Uh, when it first came out, I was a little skeptical. Um, but it's really starting to grow on me. The front end looks really mean. And, you know, there's, don't get me wrong, there's several things that I would change about it. But overall, I do like it a lot. So let's start with the front end here. I love the front end on these things. I think it looks super mean. Um, there's really nothing that I would change about the front end. You know, I was a little bit skeptical of the air curtains. Um, but they're really starting to grow on me, you know, they're supposed to be functional and they're not too intrusive. Um, the side view mirrors mounted on the doors. I was skeptical at first, but I actually am a big fan now. Um, I think it looks really good. Um, it's supposed to open up that blind spot there and help with visibility. They now have eight different trim levels, which is awesome. Uh, depending on each person's personality, um, you know, there's plenty of options here. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the back of the truck. So this is the back of the Trail Boss model, uh, but they're all going to pretty much look the same uh, except for black or chrome bumpers. Um, but I love the Chevrolet embossed in the tailgate. It looks so sweet, and the tail lights have a nice accent to them. Um, it's something that I did not expect from GM. Um, I did not expect the back end of the truck to look like this, but I think it looks great. They did a fantastic job. Um, the one thing I would change is the dual exhaust because it's, you know, the tips are basically fake. Um, you know, it exits back behind the tips and it's just kind of a chrome plate in the bumper to make it look like a dual exhaust. I mean, it looks good, but when you when you truly look at it, you can see that it's not actually connected to the piping. Uh, so that's, you know, I wish they would have at least connected it uh, and made it look uh, nicer because it looks kind of tacky the way they did it. Um, so now we're going to look at the 2019 GMC Sierra. I love everything about this new GMC, um, except for one thing, and that's the wheel wells. The wheel wells, I think they could have done a better job um, because the front of the wheel well is tapered and then the back end is squared off and I just don't think it quite looks right, but it might grow on me. Um, you know, the front end, I, I love it. I think I might even like it more than the Silverado. Um, they just, they, it really has a lot of character. One thing I will say about the AT4 here and the Trail Boss, um is that it really needs bigger tires. Uh, with that two inch lift, it just, they really look too small. And I expect that from the factory. They don't want too big of tires because of fuel economy and, and such. So, uh, so we're gonna look at the multi-pro tailgate that's exclusive to GMC. I think that's an awesome idea. Uh, it's got a lot of nice features. Um, and I think that they might even bring it to the Silverado at some point. But the one thing that worries me is extra moving parts, more places for dirt to get into, and more bare metal to be scratched up. Um, you know, other than that, it is a really cool feature, and I know it's going to be very useful. Okay, so here's a big one. The 2020 Chevy Silverado HD. And this is one of the first images that GM released, and... This particular one is the absolute worst angle to even show this front end. Um, it does not do it justice. I'm sure it looks much better in person, but first off, I'm going to point out that I absolutely hate that grill. It looks, I mean, from this picture, it looks really tacky. Um, the other, th and it looks, it just looks too big. My other problem with this is the fact that they put the headlights below that center bar. And to me, I mean, I was 
extremely surprised that they did that because they've never done that before. And, you know, I think on the right trim level, it'll look okay. But on this one, I just don't see it. I think with the right trim level, the Chevrolet across the front grill looks good. But the way that it tapers up by the turn signals and everything, I just, I don't like that at all. Uh, I would definitely prefer the bow tie. So, so since there were so many bad opinions on the LT trim, they released the high country pictures, which you see here. And to me, this front end looks way better. Um, you know, I do prefer the bow tie. Um, and I really still prefer the headlights being above that bar like they've always been. But on this, it's... I think the lights look a lot better. They have the LED accents around them, and you know the headlights are LEDs, and I think it does look a lot better than that LT trim for sure. Um, the one thing that I still think that I absolutely hate is those freaking tow mirrors. It just looks like plumbing or something. It, it's like I hate it. Um, you know, I really wish they would have kept the the mirrors up where they belong. Um, you know, I just prefer that look so much more. All right, so next we're going to take a look at the back side of the 2020 Silverado HD. And as you can see, the back of the cab and the back at the tailgate and the taillights, the bumper, are all the same as the half ton. Now... What you will notice that's different from the half ton is there is a side bed step. And I think that's a really nice added feature. Um, I've always hated the look of step sides, so I'm glad they never came back with that. But I love that added feature. It blends into the side of the truck really well, and it'll help to be able to get something in the front of that bed with ease. Um, I also... Actually, I'm, I'm really digging the, the high country wheels. Uh, I usually don't go for wheels like that, but um, I do really like those wheels. They It looks like they did a, a really nice job on them. Um, otherwise, you know, aside from those ugly tow mirrors that I do not like just yet, um, you know, I love the look of the truck. All right, so now here comes the part you've all been waiting for and the part that I am most excited about the 2020 GMC Sierra HD. Boom! That has got to be the nicest looking truck I have seen out of all these GM's trucks so far. So this is the Denali we're looking at, and I absolutely love the Denali grills. I always have, always will, and, um, you know, again, the wheels look very similar to, if not the same, as the Silverado HD wheels, so I love that. Um, but there, there's just so much that I love about the front end of this truck. Um, the way the grill contours um, in the bottom and up top, the hood scoop, you know, kind of cuts into the top of the grill there. And I love the LED accents around the headlights. Um, I see that the turn signal slash parking lights look like they are um, in that chrome piece next to the grill, which is really cool. Um, really, I, I just, I think it looks insane. Um, now here's the dually that we're looking at, still Denali, and, um, it just, it looks so sick. Um, I like how they put the Duramax emblem up at the hood, um, right there in front of the Tomir. I think that looks really good. Um, it's a good place to have that, and it, it looks really nice. Um, I also like how they put the, the amber accent lighting above the fender flares. Um, so here's the AT4 model, and it looks like this also comes with a 2-inch lift, if I'm, I mean, it certainly looks like it. Um, so that just, that's got to be one of my favorites. Um, I do prefer the the chrome grill over this one, um, but I like the wheels, I love those red tow hooks, um, and of course the lift, um, 
very 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 nice looking truck and finally we have the SLT trim and that one also very sweet looking truck um, I love the color in this image it reminds me of my Duramax actually it's it's a very similar color it looks like um, yeah just there's I can't say that there's anything that I don't love about all of these trim levels um, I'm actually even curious to see what the work truck trim looks like um, so enough about that let's get into the real meat and potatoes of these new trucks and this is going to include the Silverado and the Sierra HD so basically they're saying that the Dually uh, Silverado and Sierras with the Duramax are going to be able to tow in excess of 30,000 pounds. Now this is huge because GM has been the lowest in max tow ratings. So the fact that GM finally caught up to the competition, um, you know, it's about time. Um, the next big thing with these new HDs, with the Duramax diesel engine, they're now going to come with a 10-speed Allison transmission, which is huge. It's the first 10-speed transmission in any diesel pickup. And now, they say that it's Allison branded, um, I guess because it's made in-house at GM or something like that. Um, but I'm sure it'll be... Um, just as reliable as the 5 and 6 speed Allison's have been. Um, the fact that Allison, you know, has branded it with their name, they don't want to just, you know, have their name on some piece of junk. So, um, you know, it's got to be good. Um, they say that with the new 10 speed Allison that, you know, with the closer gear ratio spacing, you know, that it's going to allow for optimal performance, you know, in any... Uh, driving situation so that's that should be interesting to see I can't wait to see how it performs um, the AT4 trim on the GMC's um, they're saying that they're gonna come with an Eaton rear locking differential which um, I assume that might be the same on the trail boss for these trucks I'm not sure um, but these new HDs supposedly have an updated frame, um, so that's probably where, what allows them to get their better tow ratings and such. Um, as far as the engine goes, you know, the, the Duramax, um, same horsepower and torque numbers, 445 horsepower, 910 pound-feet of torque, uh, so I assume it's still the L5P, of course. Um, they say that the hood scoop is... It looks different, they're saying, because um, it's supposed to improve airflow and be more efficient, of course, is what they're saying. Um, now, another big thing is that they're saying they're going to be coming out with a new gas engine to replace the 6.0 Vortec, and there's no more information besides that. Um, I'm a little skeptical about that because I, I hope that they don't do this auto stop start on those as well because... That is, that's one thing I forgot to mention on the half tons that I absolutely hate. Um, I'll never agree with the auto stop start, but that's just my opinion. Everybody says that it's a great way to save fuel and it's a good thing, but in my opinion, I don't want my truck to be turning on and off like a golf cart every time you come to a stop. Um, but anyway, like I said, new gas engine for the HD is coming. Who knows what it's going to be. We'll find out at a later date. Um, these new trucks are longer and taller um, to allow for more interior space, etc. Um, and, of course, we already talked about the new bedside step, which you see there. Um, and these trucks also, again, the, the GMCs have the, the multi-pro tailgates. Um, I'm not sure which trim levels that's available on. Um but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be an option for any trim level, um, but just come standard with the higher trim levels is what I'm assuming. Um, and then 
finally, we're going to talk about the interior of all of these GM trucks because it should be pretty well the same uh, through the half tons and the three quarter tons, one tons, etc. Um, it looks like they did update certain things in the interior. Everything does look different, but yet similar to the previous model. Um, I think it looks more refined. Um, I think they could have made it look a little better. Um, the steering wheels in these look a little weird, but, um, I'm sure it'll look better in person. Um, the cameras in these trucks, um, it sounds like they've added a lot more cameras. Uh, there's one right at the third brake light, um, that is for your rear view mirror. So, basically, I guess you, like, tilt down or tilt up, I can't remember, um, on the rear view mirror, and it'll activate a rear view camera. And, you know, you can zoom in and zoom out on it. Um, you know, really cool feature. And I guess they have 360 degree cameras and just all kinds of camera angles to, to be able to see your trailer. Um, I heard um, that they have like a transparent camera for when you're uh, hauling a trailer. And you can kind of see through the trailer, which is very interesting. I don't know how that works, but it sounds really neat. Um, overall, it sounds like these interiors are still very high quality like they were in the previous model. Um, some nice added features. Um, I'm not going to get into the details. There's so many videos out there to talk about um, all the different features these trucks have. Uh, you know, I'm basically just giving my opinions on these trucks, and I think these trucks are insane. I mean, they have brought so much to the table. Um, and I'm so excited for these trucks to come out. Um, I would love to buy one, but of course, way out of my price range at the moment. So when these trucks hit the lots this year, um, I'm assuming it's going to be this summer sometime. Um, you know, I look forward to making some videos on them and see what they're all about. All right, so there you have it. My opinions on the new GM trucks that they're coming out with. Um, you know, that... That 2020 GMC Sierra HD, um, it's going to be an epic truck. I mean, I love everything about it, from the styling to the new Allison that's coming out. Um, and it's, yeah, Allison branded. Um, but I still think it'll be a good, reliable transmission. The 10-speed is, is very exciting. I can't wait to see how that uh, holds up and how it reacts. Um, but... You know, just so many, so many exciting things with that truck coming out, and, and with all of them, really. Um, but that's the one I'm most excited about. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.